Hey all, welcome to a new video. As you can see today I'm going to unbox this uh, package actually. So basically this will be a shopping haul. Okay, so I ordered some stuff at Scrap Delight. Obviously I know what is in here because I paid. <laughs> I ordered it and I paid for it myself, but it did take um, two weeks to get here. So it is a little bit of a surprise. Also, I have to say that I ordered one surprise pack of 15 euros and it should hold like 30 euros of goodies. So that is obviously still a surprise as well. Um, and it took two weeks because I, um, I ordered um, these, what's it called again? Distress oxides. I ordered two colors. Both of them were available at the time I ordered and then on the next day they called me saying hello Vivian. Unfortunately <laughs> one of the items you ordered, one of the colors from the stress oxide um, is actually out of stock. So they asked me do I want to uh, cancel that part of my order or do I want them to ship it afterwards or you know pick a different color so I talked about different colors they also didn't have those so okay long story short um, I just told them to hold my order until they had everything um, you know so I basically like I said I ordered everything in here except for the surprise pack myself but uh it just took a little bit longer so i kind of forgot a little bit what is in here it, that sounds really really weird obviously i didn't forget what was in here uh, but uh i'm just really excited to see everything in here um but before i start i do want to say one more thing and that is that i never really I, I started doing haul videos like a little while ago, but I'm always a little bit scared to do them because I don't want to come across as cocky, like showing you, hi, I bought this, I bought that. And I also don't want you guys to think that, ooh, that it is normal for me to buy tons of stuff or something. Um, I don't want to come across as if money grows on trees for me. In Dutch we say money doesn't grow on my back, <laughs> which obviously would be money doesn't grow on, on trees um, for, uh, well, okay, so money doesn't grow on trees. I don't want you guys to think that I am like just throwing money around because uh, a lot of hauls are actually going to come online on my channel these days which is why I think it's important to say something about that and that is because this one I ordered two weeks ago, well, obviously, um, I had to wait for that a little bit longer and then I also got the Pipsticks giveaway So that's also on my channel. I didn't pay for that, but I won that and then also there was and um, this is really this is gonna sound really really bad, but there was a huge Discount like a sale going on at Coftelier, which is the website where I usually order uh, most of my uh, supplies they had a big like sale going on because they had their two year anniversary, I think, and their two year birthday. And um, they had large discounts on things like the distress oxides, but also um, we are memory keepers tools and stuff. So I ordered some of that. I ordered, I like, if I would have known that they were gonna have that discount, obviously I would have ordered all of it um, I had a cough severe, but I'm actually also really happy to support a Dutch scrapbooking store for once. So these are all scrapbooking stuff, but I'm obviously going to use it for Happy Mail. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm cocky or that I have a lot of money because I don't. <laughs> I just, um, like I haven't had a paid job in very, very long. I did have a paid job at um, a little, um, I did have a paid job, but that guy, okay, I, I worked at a, a tiny lunchroom, but he sold his restaurant. Unfortunately, the cat cafe isn't open yet. I'm only working as a volunteer there, which is totally fine, but you know, I obviously do not make any money. So um, I don't want to come across as cocky. Okay, I think I've said that often enough. Um, I see here on the side, it says, Scrap the Light Surprise Box 1. It says 30 euros. I think that that is the value of 30 euros because I did not buy a 30 euro pack. <laughs> I did indeed order the 15 euro box. I just got scared for a second, but I think this is this means that it's 30 euros in value or maybe they gave me the 30 euro one. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with my actual order first. So 
So obviously I already know what is in here, but it's so exciting to open it and to see everything in real life, plus more tissue paper, which is going in my stash. I love this little dotted one. Okay, so actually I have to say I already uh, I already got a package from Scrap Delight before. I once won a giveaway by them with uh, Project Life cards. So a few of the items in here are, oh my God, I'm in love. A few of the items in here are from their own brand. A few are um, other brands. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, just immediately starting with this stuff that fell out. I have to say this shop also had a huge, like um, a huge discount section. So I'm just, I picked up a few things from the discount section, such as these two. This is brown embossing powder from Ranger. And this is um, like a, what is this color called? This is called, well, it's called, I think it's like pomegranate color, but I don't know, it doesn't really say. It used to be five euros, I now paid like, I don't know, one or two, two euros for it, so that's really good. So we have another like purplish, I hope you guys can see it, a purplish um, embossing powder. I'll just carefully open it. Look how, Gorgeous that color is. Focus. Doesn't really show the true color, but it's like a really, I think this color is perfect for fall because I'm not really into fall crafting. I don't know, I just feel a little bit awkward around with um, those colors and with brown and stuff. And that is why I got these two in the sale because I thought that that could help me. Uh, embossing powder in brown and that purplish color. I think this will be perfect for using with my heat tool, heat embossing tool and this one obviously as well. So this is, oh, this is really exciting. I'm going to have some of my coffee. Mm. By the way, I also got this cup on sale um, a little while ago. It's like a blue leopard, but it looks just like a cat with little cat ears. This, okay, so this is a sheet that used to have um, stamps on it. So it's like a used sticker sheet and you can use these to make, um, to try, like to make Nouveau Crystal drops, like enamel dots. And then you can see, you can just easily peel them off and then use them with glue. So I'm going to use this sheet to try the new drop colors that I got. So I got this one also on sale. This is Liquid Pearls, which is a different brand I've also seen around here on YouTube. And it's like a copper brownish color that I thought would be perfect for fall. Oh, it's not really coming out. Oh yeah, oh, that's pretty, man. There we go. Well, this is a little bit different to work with. I have to get some practice. Um, they're a little bit different from the Nouveau Crystal Drops, but it's looking a little bit like a turd. But hopefully when they dry, they will flatten a little bit. But that's a beautiful brown fall color. And then I also picked up some more fall colors. We have this one, Nouveau Jewel Drop, which, oh, it says it dries translucent. I actually haven't had a translucent one before. So I'm just gonna try, I don't know what this color is called. Oh, orange marmalade. This color is called orange marmalade. I'm just gonna, ooh, look at that. So this, um, I, I've been thinking of getting an orange one for a little while because of fall again. So this, um, yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of difference. I do like the Nouveau Crystal Drops better, but I thought I would try this out. And uh, I love this. Oh, this color is called Hot Cocoa, by the way. And then I also got a dark purple, um, again for fall, because I, I don't know, I, I don't really like orange and brown and stuff. Excuse my phone, by the way. I'm, I have it on sound right now because I'm waiting for a call from my doctor. I cannot miss that. Mm, so I thought I would make like my own fall color palette instead of the, the usual brownish yellow. Uh, orange. I thought I would try like like a dark purple and this color. I don't know what it's called and um, this lilac one So I do like the idea of fall mail. I just never really know what to make. Oh, I love this So this is beautiful. I also really love the purple one and the translucent one is kind of cool It just looks really it has a real different look Translucent obviously and then I also got the white one 
This is again a crystal drop. So these are all, these two, these three are all crystal drops and then this one is a jewel drop. Um, all from Nouveau. Oh, this looks a little bit like glue, but I think that will be fun um, on like a colored background to have like white little dots. And also I could make it look just like snow, which is really exciting. So I'm, I'm gonna have to put this aside and let that dry. And I just lost one of the blue ones, but I just wanted to show you the colors. So let that dry for a little bit then oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> okay first off i got this white little uh, ink pad i've had i have ordered a couple of these colors before i really like this brand it's nice uh, small and the colors are usually really really pretty and they're stackable which is good for when you have to store them so i just ordered a white one because i wanted to try white ink and i also thought i might be able to use that for embossing on the back suitable for embossing and stenciling excuse me i just started filming and now we have a ton of background noises from people doing um, gardening outside and now we have the stuff i was most excited about so most of this most like most of the most of the stuff that is in here i had in my shopping cart for quite a while especially the distress oxides because and whenever i order stuff i rarely do it like uh order stuff on a whim i think you call it on a whim i always have it in my shopping cart for weeks i look at it a dozen times before i decide to actually order it because i always feel quite guilty on spending money on myself um but these two i've been looking at them for so long i've seen kira from uh simply creative kira if you guys don't know her yet i'll link her down below go check her out she's so kind and talented um she she uses distress oxides um, in her mail, like in her mixed media all the time and she got me so inspired I've been so excited to try these out um, I'm not gonna do that in this video because I, I want to do that properly but I've got the color cracked pistachio and um, tumbled glass and basically these are um, some also inks for like stamping I could use them but you can also use them for like smearing and watercolor painting and making backgrounds and I'm so excited I've been watching so many videos about this um, it says water reactive dye and pigment ink fusion that creates an oxidized effect when sprayed with water Use with stamps stencils and direct to surface blend using ink blending tools and foam re-ink with distress oxide re-inkers So, okay so I'm so excited to try that and then I also bought these two with to go with that um, These are basically like fingertip uh, little I don't know how to call this. These are like, yeah, blending tools. Uh, and I actually, I'm not really into makeup and stuff because like other people, other girls my age spend their money on makeup and alcohol and I spend my money on this kind of stuff. But I did buy many, many years ago, one of those, what was it called again? Like a blending tool, blending foam that you would use for mas uh, mascara, oh my god, for foundation. I bought that many years ago, I used it once or twice, never used it since. Luckily I do still have it because I can also use it with this stuff. Um, but I could use this to like uh, make, to make, I don't know, I cannot explain it but I'm so excited about this. So I bought two of these little uh, pads and I also, when I ordered at Craftsalier, I actually found the ones that come with this set so i'm going to use them as well i don't know what else to say about that but okay this is the most exciting part two distress oxides tumbled glass and cracked pistachio they're not actually stackable which uh, you can stack them but they don't click together that's a little bit sad okay and then i also ordered these uh from the sale they are puffy stickers like little nml stickers um you know like they are called December stories, um, you know, just for, and this was also on sale and I just thought they were cute for like winter decorating. We have little dots, little stars and little heart shapes in different colors. So I'm excited to use these as well. I'm going to use, save these for last. And then this was all on sale as well. Um, I got these little puffy stickers called pumpkin spice. They're like little animal stickers and they were actually B. Sorry, I'm really, I'm really sorry about my phone, but 
who's messaging me? Okay, I silenced WhatsApp. I, I should have done that before, um, but I still need to hear my phone. And these are actually B toys. So I think if I look at them now, it looks like they are slightly, like the images are slightly on the right instead of centered, but it's actually hardly noticeable. And I think these, if you wouldn't have told me that this was B choice, I totally would have thought that they were like good quality stickers. So uh, I got these on a discount and they look amazing. I'm really excited to start using these. So we've got little acorns, uh, little leaves, pumpkins, mushrooms, more pumpkins, more leaves, pumpkin spice lattes, uh, little Oops, I don't remember what these are called. These little animals with the prickly animals. I forgot their name. Little leaves, mushrooms, and foxes. So adorable. I cannot wait to start using these in meal. And I, when I saw these in sale both of them i decided to buy these because i never really last year I, I didn't really get into winter crafting and i bought these because i never really got into fall crafting and when i see these i immediately want to start and then last item that i also bought from sale are these puffy stickers um i love alphabet stickers or are what are they called again uh, i forget the name I don't know. Oh, alpha stickers. They're called alpha stickers. I love alpha stickers because it just gives such a special touch to me, but I always think they're quite expensive. They're usually like five or four euros a sheet. So I bought this in sale. Super, ha super happy. They're called, this color is called nude, but it's kind of brown. I thought they would be nude, but I'm actually happy that they're brown because that matches my fall theme again. Mm. What you hear now is just Noose in the background who's trying to open the kitchen drawer, even though I have no clue why, because her food is in a different drawer. I'm looking at the, the shapes, and actually the hot cocoa one, the liquid pearls, is drying quite good. And the other ones are perfect, so <laughs> I'm really happy that I got them. So I've got some alpha stickers again for uh, for crafting, I'm happy that I don't know anyone with a Q in the name because there's only one Q. No, because always what happens when I do have letter stickers is that I don't have enough of one letter. So when I want to write hello, I use H A L L, and then I only have one L left, so I can only write hello once, which is kind of sad. But okay, I got puffy stickers. I'm gonna be very happy to use them, and uh, they were on sale. <laughs> And then the final item that I bought in this set are um, Project Life cards. And actually what they did is they offer you, instead of buying an entire core set, you can buy one fourth of a core set. So I did that, obviously. I bought one fourth of a core set and then you pay a smaller price because I don't think I'm gonna be able to use an entire set of, of cards. And I bought the Vicky, Becky, oops, Becky, Becky Higgins Project Life Sweet Edition. So they gave me a bunch of cards. Oh, there are a lot of doubles. That's a little bit sad. They're all double. <laughs> That's kind of sad because you only get like a small portion and then why would they give you doubles? If, but okay, I'm not gonna show all of them. I just wanna show you a little bit of what is in here, like the designs. I think they're very cute and perfect for Happy Mom. So as you can see, a lot of black also, which I kind of do like. This one's so cute with the black ones. Camera, so it's like a little pastel and pastel colors mixed with black. That's kind of cool. Um, you know, pastel colors, little ballerinas, a lot of words, and these also make such a fun gift. You know, and look at the, these images, little flowers, like runs again, flowers, flowers, absolutely love it. I'm gonna be so excited to try all of these out. Mm. And I actually have a couple of the, the die cuts that match this set as well. So cute. As you can see, a lot of cameras. Yeah, I don't know, I'm going really, really quickly, but otherwise, this video will take hours. It's really cute, and I only showed you one side, like the other side, which I have the image. So, okay, some of them might have a pretty So, I'm going to make these for meal and for presents because I don't know, I think they're very exciting to see because they're usually quite pretty pieces of paper. But yeah, and let me know, by the way, if you've seen anything here that you want me to create mail with, um, you know, you can tell me in the comments down below. If you want to see an all Project Life card mail, you know, feel free to send me that in a comment. I would love to have some new challenges. I'm actually not getting this back into the bag. 
but I have a bigger bag to put all of them in. Okay, okay, okay. Just gonna ignore that. And now the most exciting part, I'm going to open the the surprise pack. Okay, no peeking. So actually a surprise box. So I paid 15 euros and what is in here should be worth 30. Could be anything uh, from stickers to paper to, I don't know. It basically could be anything from their store, but it's probably not on the website anymore or it doesn't sell well or something. I don't know, something is probably wrong with it. But I did ask them specifically not to put in any dies because I don't have a die cutting machine. But you know, you're not supposed to ask for those kind of things. So I hope that, I don't know, I hope they paid attention to my question, but maybe they didn't. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> getting my um, coffee so there's a lot in here which I'm actually very excited about oh my god I don't even know where to start okay I'm going to start with these shapes from they're from Kaisercraft they're the wooden flourish packs um, but why is it called flourish there's like a lot of there's oh man this is actually quite cute we have these little photo frames and some clocks some uh, sewing machines, little keys, bird cages. That's actually quite cute. I could use that for like decorating. So little wooden shapes. This was actually six euros. So that's already half of my price. Then I'm immediately looking at this. Oh, this is weird. I, I know this machine is like, oh yeah. Use with mink foil applicator and foil. Whoops, I don't have a foil applicator machine. Let me see, but these are really cute. Look, can I take this out? Look, these are all like words. Oh, you can see it here. You have adore, hello, forever, enjoy, love and smile. That's actually really, really cute. And I wonder if I could also use that with, um, with my heat tool. If not, I just, if, if it doesn't work, I just have uh, some really pretty words in black. Or else I can always share them with someone who does have a mink heat, mink foil applicator. <sighs> okay, so I got a call and I thought it was a doctor, but it was actually my boyfriend. So what, I was, what was I saying? Um, um, these, what was I looking at? Did I pick up something and did I leave it somewhere in the house? I don't think so, okay. Then next up we have these buzzwords, <laughs> which are really cute, pretty little, they look a little bit like you made them with NML dots, which is really, really cute. We have these words, um, basically just word stickers. I'm just gonna say word stickers. We have awesome, celebrate, awesome, and celebrate. <laughs> oh, actually, I didn't realize that it just said the same. <laughs> That's such a feel, okay. And actually, I really do like these. So I was a little bit afraid of this pack being like them dumping a lot of stuff, but I have to say that apart from this, which I won't be able to use, it does look kind of good <laughs> from here. Vivian, relax, okay. It says for use with memory planner, but they are just wooden, um, what's it called again? Wooden number stickers, um, number stamps. So I can just use them for anything. It's actually quite good because I like to number my letters and I can use them for that. <laughs> so I'm actually quite happy. We have these cute little number stamps and a star and a heart. So I'm happy with that. Uh, then I'm gonna open, I keep looking at this. This is really not my style. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick it up. Okay, so we have also, but actually this is like a chipboard, a chipboard, what's this called? Chipboard sticker sheet. So that they are actually quite expensive usually, like three or four euros. All right, it says here, used to be three, then 240, then 150, so okay. Used to be three euros, which is actually kind of expensive. And I like this because we again have the numbers, which I can also use for numbering letters. That's good. I'm gonna use them for that. Um, I have to say, I do like this, but the color scheme is not really my thing. It would be something that I would use for a guy's birthday, probably. Oh yeah, it also says boy. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so now it totally makes sense. This is for a boy. So I could use that for my boyfriend or something. Um, but yeah, obviously I could, like this birthday one, I could totally use that for a girl as well. Normally I would just pick something with a little more pink i guess but it uh, i have to say it's not bad these are actually good quality stickers just not really my style okay i'm just gonna put this back okay now i looked at it i can open Ooh, what is this 
Oh my god. And then we have... Um, I don't know what this is. This was this used to be three euros and it says add journaling. So probably because they... I'm just going to use the knife. They sell Project Life kits and they sell like monthly kits as well. So probably this is like something you could add onto that. Um, I just hope that I like the style. Hello? The sticker is kind of a... Uh, and this is actually, they're a web shop, but they also have like a physical store. And I wish I could go there because that's so... I, I, I would love to go like physical scrapbooking shopping. Oh my god, these are actually really, really cute. So these are Project Life cards. Well, I just said that I love Project Life cards. And these are their own design, uh, which I can also recognize because they have square edges. I the battery died. <laughs> Battery died, I've been filming so much today because I also already opened the Pip Sticks pack on camera and this morning I was at the cat cafe to, um, you know, like help, help the cats get settled, <laughs> help them get used to having people around basically and I filmed a lot, which I cannot wait to show you guys. But okay, we have all of these little cards um, that I'm totally going to use for Happy Mail and also I could totally use this for like um uh little like little cards to add to mail like i could this says this month i could totally write down everything i did that month oh this is so cute remember this moment for like happy moments i'm actually quite happy this is something i could, could have picked myself and looking at this i think this might actually be the paper pack that goes with this set which is also an add-on and this usually costs five euros oh my god i feel like even though i didn't pick it out myself i saved a lot of money i actually think this is worth more than five than 30 euros but i'm not sure because these two these two together are already 11 euros okay i will stop now i'm not promoting this i mean i paid for this with my own money but i have to say i was not sure what to expect and this is papers. So we have, oh, oh, I've seen this one on Instagram. I actually don't think this is the same set because the colors do not match, but I have seen this um, Project Life set on their Instagram and I loved the colors. I actually, I was actually thinking about buying this set, but I'm glad I didn't. Oh, it's actually two-sided and then one is empty. Oh, there's, it's actually, look. I thought it was one-sided because of the white back, but it's actually two-sided. This is so exciting. So we have, I think this is like six by eight paper inches. So we have cute little clouds and then brown. And I could also use that for happy fall meal, but I'm going to use that side. This side with the letters. It's quite sturdy cardstock, so perfect for making like flip books. And this is one side, but I love this side. Look at that. It's really cute and I love the color. Little flowers. Oh my god, this is... I feel like this is so me. I love this side. The blue one. This one is a little bit less my style, but totally fine for like a background. Ooh, this one. I love both sides. I actually need a, an, an extra one of this. And then we just have uh, two... Uh, one color ones and a white one. I don't really know why they include white, but you know, I'm gonna use that to print die cuts probably. So you've got all of these papers, and then there's also still a uh, paper in the oh, actually, two papers in the bottom. Um, I'm just gonna see. I actually, I have to say that I was not allowed to choose or anything, but this is so, totally something I would have picked myself. <gasps> oh, oh my god, oh, it's the December one. Oh, snow and cocoa. Oh, that's so exciting. I was actually looking at this uh, paper pack at Coftelier, but they were all sold out. <gasps> and I'm happy that I didn't buy it now because I did get some paper. So these are both like December themed. So this one is Falala, yeah, December. And this one is snow and cocoa. So both of them are like Christmassy themed. Oh yeah, there we've got little uh, Christmas trees or I could cut them out individually. No, I think I'm gonna go with the Christmas trees and then this one I actually think this even looks pretty nice together. Oh, I'm actually really really happy with these And I, 
I could totally match, and of course I would grab the blank one. I could totally match that together. Wait, 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 wait. Look, I'm, I'm totally seeing Neocom together here. Look, this. How good does this set look? Okay, I'm, I'm just really excited by this because I expected it to be not really great and then it is quite great. Ooh. Okay, so, um, surprise pack, not even that bad. I'm gonna say my favorite item in here is definitely this set of papers. Although I also love the Project Life cards and little stamp stickers. So these would be my three favorite items, but I do have to say that I like the rest as well. And my least favorite would be the mink one because I do not have one of those. But then again, I'm just glad that they didn't give me like a die card or something and I wasn't able to choose, so I'm not complaining. Um, so this is really, really exciting. I, I, I wanna know from the surprise pack, which was your favorite item? Which one would you pick if you could pick one? And also let me know if you wanna see me create something with any of these. I don't think I will be making like a boy happy birthday themed meal because I don't have any guy pen pals and I know that probably if I would make this for my brother or something he wouldn't really appreciate it. He would probably look at it once and then just toss it out which is probably the same for all the guys so I think I'm just gonna use this for girls happy meal. <laughs> but okay, that was actually everything in here. I again forgot my coffee. Um, I'm really, really happy with my um, with everything I bought. I cannot wait to play around with all of this. And also, uh, as bad as this may sound, I have another another package on the way with more scrapbooking supplies. So please just know that this is not normal for me to order that much in one go. But you know, I wasn't expecting that Cartier to have such a huge discount. So. That's everything I'm gonna say, and this is just a little booklet about their Project Life brand. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see everything I'm going to create with this, um, or if you just like Happy Meal as much as I do. Don't know what else to say. Hope you enjoyed this. Okay, bye bye!